just arrived in uh, Texas. We're in Austin right now. We're going to be visiting uh, Angry Joe. Uh, and he's going to be our first uh, of our US uh, YouTubers that we're going to be showing the game to. Watch you. Don't put that on the internet. I'm serious. <laughs> All right, well, this is Divinity Original Sin 2. And who are you? Running. <laughs> I'm Sam Vick and the creative director and founder of Diary City. Hello, this is uh, day two of our US trip, I think. <laughs> uh, we had Angry Joe last night. Uh, we spent a lot of time with him. We had a lot of network problems, which was a little bit of our fault because we forgot to take something with us. But luckily, Joe and his friends uh, got us sorted out. So uh, now we are uh, heading to a Best Buy because we're going to buy a new laptop. Uh, because that will aid us in our presentations. Unfortunately, we haven't had uh, a lot of luck finding one, so we hope that uh, where we're going now, we'll find uh, one that will uh, be of the specifications that we need. And then it's off to San Francisco. Uh, we have a broken laptop which we bought today, on which we want to show uh, the multiplayer of the game because somehow nobody was thinking and we just took one laptop with us and so we need a second laptop. Unfortunately it's broken and so we need to fix it and so we're going to try to figure out a way of fixing it and hopefully that's not going to require driving all over town in midnight trying to figure out like somebody please help us do you have a PC for us? So we'll find out. Okay. Well today was not so good um, we somehow managed to lose all of our uh, Kickstarter, uh, Kickstarter, Kickstarter data. Uh, also, we went to sleep at one o'clock last night, and I woke up at three o'clock uh, with my jet lag. And the reason why we went to sleep so late is because we're trying to fix that bloody laptop that's broken. So this morning we'll continue the quest for trying to fix the laptop, and I'll present just with one laptop. Uh, but I wanted to show stuff in multiplayer also, so that's not going to work out at PC Gamer because that's the first one we're seeing today. It's probably because in, in, in Divinity Original Sin 2 you can use the source and there's a, like the dark side of the source, the light side of the source. And I've been using too many of the dark side, so I guess this is my karma getting back at <laughs> PC Gamer, first stop. I don't know if you cook by any chance. Well, then, <laughs> I, I hear grease fires are really good, right? Yeah, so if you, you want put, one of those in your kitchen. And do you know what happens when you put water on the grease fire? It explodes. Yes. Exactly, there you go. <laughs> I'll, uh, I won't go easy on you. Let me just put it that I way. I can see that. That's <laughs> as, I, as I teleport you onto a skeleton. No, 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 I'm a skeleton. No, no, no. Uh. You changed a lot of stuff where I'm like, oh, that wasn't like, I didn't mind that, but also it's very cool and I like it that it's different now and I like how you did it. So Good. I'm excited to keep playing it. I'm All excited right. to when it actually comes out. They'll, they'll still take some time. Yeah. <laughs> So we just went to PC Gamer and uh, he introduced us to uh, SanDisk 64 gigs uh, USB 3 sticks to transfer the game that we've been trying to transfer to yesterday for I don't know how much time, like in less than three minutes. So that was pretty cool to his machine. And so that solved our problem with the laptop. And so we could play, uh, like, we played two hours with him. Uh, so that was fun. We had a good presentation, good laughs. I think, uh, I think they enjoyed it a lot. So we'll see. You never know from, of course. Yeah, off to IGN. Uh, that's probably going to be a tougher sell. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So you'll see a lot of things that already look very polished, but that's just because we're pre-using uh, the engine that we already have. And but uh, for us, it's still a pre-alpha version. Okay, so uh, there's going to be still a lot of stuff that's going to be added on top of it, and uh, we still have many, many months of development to go. You must have had enough source in you because your mother was the one that had you arrested. So it means that I have an interesting relationship with my mother. And so uh, apparently also my mother has now been put in jail. Uh, we finished with IGN. We finished with uh, GameSpot just now. Uh, so uh, Kevin, who was our usual go-to guy at GameSpot, uh, left GameSpot. He's been working at Trine Worlds, I think. Uh, and so we met somebody we didn't know before, Mike, who hadn't played Divinity Original Sin. So I hope he liked it. Uh, we're still having problems. We have a new laptop by now. Uh, and uh, it's working, the game is running on it. But uh, for some reason we didn't manage to, con to connect the two laptops to each other. So that's now going to be our next uh, challenge for the next presentation, which is who? PC World. 
PC World. All right, so I'm going to be showing it to PC World right now. And uh, hopefully we'll manage a bit. I, PC World sounds like somebody who will know about hardware, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he should be able to help us out, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you see this gallows, there's ghosts. There are also so there's all kinds of ghost interactions to be had. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to show you again how different quest options, different uh, dialogues are happening depending on who I am. So if I talk with the dwarf, obviously that dwarf So we're still traveling. We just finished up with our press tour. As you can see, we look a little bit uh, brighter and healthier because the hard part is over. Uh, well, the hard part uh, of doing the press tour because we've done all of them. It's over until SPAX uh, when we're going to be showing to the rest of the press. We were massively late in uh, our hotel room where we were receiving Hayden from PC World. And so uh, he had to wait a long time because we were still trying to set up the laptop at that time. And we said, we bought this laptop, we're going to make it work. We met uh, Nathan. And so we showed uh, Nathan from Kotaku, uh, whom we knew from previously when he was a rock paper shotgun. And then finally, uh, we saw uh, uh, Phil uh, from uh, Polygon, uh, who has been tweeting enthusiastically about Divinity Original Sin every day since it was released. I think he, he enjoyed what he saw also of uh, Original Sin too. I think they're going to say, it looks like an interesting project that might have potential when it receives, but Larian will have to live up to a lot of things and not, not fuck up uh, over uh, the many years that it will take them to develop the game, something along those lines, I guess. And so now we're off to the airport uh, to fly to Seattle and to go set up the booth and to actually launch the Kickstarter campaign uh, tomorrow at 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, which there will then be 3 o'clock uh, back home in Belgium. And so we were just discussing uh, if it was a good idea or we should still pull back because uh, we have uh, what we call it, this little anxiety, anxiety that we, we're doing it wrong, so we'll see. So anyway, Thomas, stop pointing the camera at my face. <laughs>